up above, where clouds form and scatter, existed a great weapon that held the power of the sky. Twas a divine weapon forged from the first lightning that struck the earth, the Heaven Splitter. When the Heaven Splitter slashed through the fabric of the sky, it created day and night. The wind and clouds carry whispers of its great powers. The one who wields the Heaven Splitter will rule the skies. According to legend, one can wield its divine powers by unsheathing the weapon from the heaviest cloud in the sky. It is said that the Heaven Splitter can cut anything in half, even a cookie's heart, so they say. Black Raisin Cookie, Wildberry Cookie, are you all following along? Of course. This is nothing. Let me make this clear. I'll come running if anything happens to your kingdoms. So I don't owe you two for this. Um, that's a given. Remember, we were called by the ancient heroes to aid their mission. We traveled Crispia for something like this. The location doesn't matter, as long as we're needed. I agree. Very well, then. So, from the intel you've gathered, there's a mysterious tower being built around here? That's right. There have been similar reports from cookies living on the outskirts of the Dark Hakao Kingdom. Hmm, I've heard something like this before. Dark Enchantress Cookie builds towers that bake cake monsters. Hordes of desert abominations that bring nothing but chaos. And if it is, we'll fight them off and restore peace in this area. Black Raisin Cookie, could you ask your crows to scout out the tower? Not now. The crows are telling me there are thunderclouds looming above. It'd be risky to send them off in these conditions. Oh well. I suppose we'll scout out the tower ourselves. Cream Wolf, are you ready? All right, hop on everyone. We'll arrive in no time. What on earth, Brad, are they doing? Oh dear, are they actually headed to the tower? Hmm, look. The villagers are observing the tower from afar. This is... The tower sticks out like a sore thumb here. <laughs> How unsightly. Cake monsters are guarding and building the tower. It's not done being built yet. Huh? Look! The ground surrounding the tower is turning into... Cake! This is much worse than I thought. We must report back to His Majesty! Leave it up to me. We need to stop them from finishing the tower until His Majesty arrives. All right. We'll infiltrate the tower. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's go. Very well. On my count! One... Two... Three! Oh, <laughs> you three! Now, hold on just a moment. Ah! Who are you? You can't just block our path like that. You could have gotten hurt. Hmm, you folks seem like you're headed into that tower. But are you aware of the legends steeped in that area? We only know that it's a village near the Dark Cacao Kingdom. Crunchy Chip Cookie, what do you know of that area? Well, I've been there before, but nothing stood out to me. Oh, I heard there's a shrine made for some rite. <laughs> I see. Well then, 
gather around. Let me tell you a little tale. Far up in the sky, where clouds take shape, there lived Cookies Divine, blessed by the heavens. And one of them governed the skies above. Yeah! That'll restore some balance to the land. <sighs> it's time to eat some candied clouds and watch what's going down on Earth bread. Hmm. Why is it so quiet? Hey! Is anybody there? Out of candy clouds! I demand some more! I said, I demand more candy clouds! Blast it! All day they nag me. And where are they when I actually need them? With the deities of wind, rain, and clouds at her beck and call, the sky card looked down upon Earthbred, bustling with life. Wind, rain, cloud! Is anyone there? Ugh, this just won't do! Where did those three run off to? I'll give them a taste of my lightning when they return! Just as the Sky God was looking down upon Earthbred, teeming with life, the skies over the giant icing ridge shook, and a great dragon hatched from within the clouds. The dragon had eyes white like snow, and scales black like cacao. And so we called them. The Black and White Dragon. What's this? This isn't the sound of the Sky God's thunder. What's going on here? I should consult the others. Whoa, Rain Deity Cookie. It's always a pleasure to see you work your magic. Thank you. I do enjoy my work very much. Collecting life powder that has flown up to the skies to create clouds. Gathering them with the wind and finally returning them to the earth with rain. Who else could possibly take our place? Only the Sky God and us deities could maintain this cycle of life powder. <laughs> you make it sound so grand. Clouds just float, you know? Oh, don't sell yourself short, Cloud Deity Cookie. Your clouds are imbued with life powder. They can turn into anything. Not to mention, my rain would be useless without your clouds. Now, sit back and watch as your creations become imbued with life powder and fall as raindrops. Ah, uh, I do have to say this is quite relaxing. Hmm? Look, there's Wind Deity Cookie. Apologies for interrupting your work. Something urgent requires your immediate attention. What unfolded in front of the freshly hatched dragon was the vista of the great icing ridge. I want to eat it, could I? Mmm, mmm, I can eat it, oh yes! The earth flowing with life powder was a sumptuous feast for the starving dragon. Mm, 
Still hungry, so hungry, need more. Blinded by greed and hunger, the dragon grew larger with each bite of earth and snow. Chunks of land devoured by the dragon formed valleys and mountain ridges. And with every bite the dragon gorged, they grew and grew. Until they became a looming mountain themselves. The dragon's breath became the wind. And with every breath they took, the ground would shake and rumble. Unsated, the dragon looked up greedily at the snow falling from the sky. I devoured earth and snow, becoming one with it. Does this mean devouring the sky will grant me its powers? Oh. <laughs> As you can see, the black and white dragon is coveting the sky, Stormbringer Cookie. Another fool has stepped up to challenge me, the sky itself? The dragon will surely come for the Heaven Splitter. Will you punish them as you did with the others? Punish? Of course! I shall make sure they know their place in this world. A little punishment will serve as a necessary tool in the process. I shall make an example out of this dragon to make sure no one on all of Earthbred dares challenge me again. Rain deity cookie. Let the rain fall from the skies. <laughs> Gladly. Dowsing the earth with rain is my sworn duty. Cloud deity cookie, create thunder clouds. Yes, Stormbringer Cookie! Thunderclouds coming right up! Wind Daddy Cookie! You! You want me to gather the thunderclouds with my wind, right? Exactly! Well, seeing as you'll start grumbling if I don't... Silence! Go play with that conniving dra... No, snake! While I prepare for battle! So what you're saying is... You need time to gather lightning bolts. <laughs> oh, Wind Deity Cookie, stop teasing the Sky God so. All of you, enough! Now, be on your way! All right, the cloud path is open. Come on, let's go! How could I devour the sky? If I eat the Heaven Splitter... <gasps> Wouldn't that give me the sky's powers? When the black and white dragon raised their head, they were faced with the three deity cookies, loyal subjects of the sky god. Enough of your insolence, young dragon! The sky god knows all and sees all! I admire your ambition, dragon, but this has gone too far! Everything in nature has its rightful place. If you cannot understand that, the sky will consume you instead. The sky? Eat me? No, no. I will devour all of you whole. Hmm. I don't think our words are getting through. Well then. Yeah. Raindrops! They've turned sharp as knives! Understanding nature, you say? Devouring snow allowed me to understand it and become one with it. Devouring the mountains did the same. Therefore, to understand the rain, I must consume it. I get it now. Rain is rain. 
raindrops falling like little daggers from the sky. Rain is a mirror reflecting the heavens above. Whoops. The great Stormbringer Cookie is not gonna be happy about this. Clouds move with the wind, becoming one, then becoming two. Let's see if you can handle this! <gasps> Did you create another you with your clouds? Take this! Ah, that hurts! Come on! Everyone surround the dragon! The clouds! I can't see a thing! I am the earth, snow, and rain. Rain rips through clouds like a dagger to a cloth. Clouds cannot block my destined path. Oh, the wind is scattering the raindrops. There's more to the sky than just the clouds. But no matter. Oh no, the clouds. They're getting eaten. This I know. Clouds merely float and go where the wind takes them. Mist and vapor cannot stop me. Ah! Now only you remain, wind. I will devour you whole. Then I shall fly up to the skies with your powers coursing through my veins. You... <gasps> that sound! Her Majesty is ready. Which means... You, dragon, cannot be the sky! And know this, your acts of greed will not go unpunished! Still... You plan on devouring me, don't you? Yes! Let me! I crave the power! The knowledge! Very well, then. Do as you wish, and face the consequences of your foolish action. <laughs> oh, yes! Yes! I see now, I see how the sky flows, how it breathes life, the ebb and flow of it all. I can soar through the skies freely now. I can fly higher than before. I feel it. I sense the power of the divine weapon. Up there, up above the cloud banks, lies the Heaven Splitter! So this is the fabled Heaven Splitter! <laughs> I've been awaiting your arrival, Snake! How dare you covet my domain and what's rightfully mine? The Heaven Splitter is me, and lightning itself! Do you really think a worm like you could swallow the skies? I am the Earth, snow, wind, rain, and cloud! Becoming the sky is my destiny! Aha! This is proving to be more exciting than I thought! Come on, then! Show me what you've got! Do you truly wish to devour the sky? I want it. Still so much to know. I will understand this world by eating the sky! <laughs> what a shame! You have the strength but lack common sense! Oh! The sky is so close, I can almost taste it! Oh, if I could just have one bite! <laughs> the only thing you'll be tasting is my lightning, Snake! Ah, 
Devouring the sky means you will become one with it, thus becoming one with nature! Reaching that state of enlightenment means you will become the world and have the cycle of life within your grasp! You said you wanted to swallow the sky and understand the world? Well then, have at it! According to legend, the Heaven Splitter can split anything in two. The black and white dragon was split down the middle for challenging the Sky God. The black dragon was banished to the north, the white dragon to the south. But even divided, they could not resist the magnetic pull they felt towards one another. After all, the dragons were born as one. Alas, divine punishment would not end so easily. The two dragons reunited, but were cursed to fight their other half. Day and night, forever until the end of time. Never to become one again. Uh-huh. But what's this story got to do with us? Ah, that area where the tower is being built is the location where this legend takes place. That massive tower challenges the very power of the Sky God, meaning it will soon face divine retribution. Do you even know when this divine retribution will happen? Do you expect me to believe this tall tale you've told us so far? Wait, Crunchy Chip Cookie. This Cookie, he knows something we don't. <laughs> oh, you three will need to see this. Follow me. Oh, Sky God. Divine Sky God. We pray to thee. Punish those who plague this land with their foul presence, and those who dare challenge your power. The cookies are praying. Is this a rite of some sort? It is. The last time we prayed for three days, the Sky God appeared in front of us. She will appear this time as well. We are sure of it. The skies will open up and the ground will shake. Huh. All this for some folktale. 
If it were that easy, that tower would be nothing but crumbs by now. I have a better plan. Everyone charge and storm the tower! It can't be! No, wait. This sound is... I see you have all gathered. Your Majesty! I ran into a horde of cake monsters on my way here. Naturally, I took care of them. I wouldn't expect any less from you, Your Majesty. With you here, taking down that tower will be an easy feat! No. That will put the others at risk. There is a village near this tower. Attacking it will inflict civilian casualties. Ah. Everyone, quiet for a moment. Look up at the sky. Oh, what is it this time? Look, everybody! Look at the sky! Stop the prayers at once! <sighs> oh! You must be the three deity cookies! Oh, bless the skies! Her prayers have been heard! Everyone, if I could have your attention! Indeed, your prayers have been heard by the Sky God, so you may stop this rite at once. The Sky God has taken notice of that tower's evil presence. She will soon rain down her divine punishment upon that wicked tower. So, it'd be best to evacuate this area. Oh, by the way, this is simply the Sky God's decision, not an answer to your prayers. Now, now, everyone, enough praying. Return to your village at once. Pendweller and Cookies always think that praying to the sky will make all their wishes come true. The Sky God? Where have I heard of this? In the legend of the Heaven Splitter? No, it is more than a legend. Perhaps we could make use of this power. This is our first and final warning. Please return to your village. Huh? Who are you to tell us what to do? Hold on. I wish to speak to this Sky God. One does not simply speak to the Sky God. Mm-hmm. One must earn the right to even stand in her presence. Earn the right, you say? Your Majesty! All the rain clouds have parted, just like that. Neither rain, nor wind, nor clouds can bend my will. I assume this is enough proof of my right to meet the Sky God. Oh. It's another one challenging the Sky God's powers! Oh, not this again. Sure, the Sky God appreciates some determination in cookies. But we don't know how she'll take this. If this Sky God is truly a cookie who governs the heavens, they must be aware of the dark forces plaguing Earthbred. Legend describes the Sky God as a benevolent being who looks after those down below. A true ruler of the skies will take responsibility to protect the peace. Hmm. Take responsibility to protect the peace, huh? Noted. I shall personally deliver your message to the Sky God. But don't get your hopes up. Your Majesty, will those cookies really help us? We shall see. If what they say is true, that tower is about to be struck down. Everyone, stand back! Yes, Your Majesty. You heard him! Stand back! Ah! The lights! Look up at the sky!
lightning strike was powerful. Are you all right, Crows? A punishment that fits the crime. Why is she headed this way? Should we prepare to fight, Your Majesty? So, you must be that arrogant cookie who wishes to speak to me. I hear you disperse the thunder clouds with a swing of your sword. Ha! Well then, try blocking this! <laughs> you blocked my heaven splitter. That sword is no ordinary weapon. Wait, I sense a familiar energy radiating from it. Fascinating. You better watch out. Its powers might escape at any moment. Oh. Anyways, you wanted to talk to me. I command you to speak, Cookie. Are you aware of the dark and sinister presence that threatens the very peace of Earthbred? We plan on defeating this great evil by joining forces. Will you join our battle to ensure peace for all cookie kind? Huh. I'm aware of this little campaign of yours. I do spend a lot of my time observing land dweller cookies. But directly intervening in these matters is not my responsibility. Moreover, I don't see why I should care about something so... Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Cake monsters are rushing out of the cracks! They are Dark Enchantress Cookie's horde! Oh! I sense great evil from those abominations! It's clear that ordinary cookies cannot stop them. Hmm... A ruler should always take responsibility for their actions. Very well! I shall aid you in this battle as a great leader should! Yeah! Come on, everyone. We can't just sit back and do nothing. And so it begins. Protecting Earthbred is our sworn duty. Let us join the battle. Give us your order, Your Majesty. I see that we have far more pressing matters to attend to. I shall await your answer, Stormbringer Cookie. Soldiers! All charge at the tower! <laughs> <laughs> 